In this video, we're going to present the first and second pillow like your job stress tensors. We will first present some motivations for defining such stress measures. Consider this cylindrical solid object in a reference configuration. Assume that it takes this mangled form once it deformed. The black dot on each configuration correspond to each other. In the deformed configuration, the Cauchy stress tensor at the material point represented by the black dot can be examined by looking under a magnifying lens. The components of this Cauchy stress tensor will be dependent on the coordinate system chosen and in large deformations can be complicated to relate to the actual directions within the material. In certain situations, it's simpler to view the stresses in the reference configuration where they are going to be aligned with the natural directions of the object. This motivation led to the development of the two stress measures that will be presented here, the first and second piola Kirchhoff stress tensor. These stress tensors allow us to 1. Describe stress and constitutive relationships in the reference configuration. We can even write the equations of motion in the reference configuration rather than in the deformed configuration. There are three major stress tensors that we will cover in this course. The Cauchy stress tensor, which is the physical stress in the deformed configuration as described before. The first Piola-Kirchhoff stress tensor, which keeps the direction of the forces in the deformed configuration, but uses the areas defined in the reference configuration. Because the first Piola-Kirchhoff stress tensor keeps the direction of the forces, it sometimes appears in the equations of motion when written using the reference configuration geometry. The second Piola-Kirchhoff stress tensor, which rotates the direction of the forces onto the reference configuration, and uses areas defined in the reference configuration. The first piola kirchhoff stress tensor is the linear transformation that would give me the same uh, deformed configuration force on the face if I use the undeformed area vector. You can see here, on the right hand side, let's assume that in the deformed configuration, I have an area of magnitude A2 and direction N2. The force is equal to the stress tensor multiplied by the area vector. The stress tensor is the Cauchy stress tensor applied to the uh, area vector, direction N2 and magnitude A2. On the left hand side, I have an area vector of magnitude A2 and direction capital N2. The force vector is equal to the first piola kirchhoff stress tensor multiplied by this area vector uh, direction multiplied by the magnitude. So for a general area vector A and direction N, the force vector is equal to the area multiplied by P applied to N. And the, uh, for, uh, the force vector in the reference configuration is equal to the area vector and the uh, stress the Cauchy stress tensor applied to the, um, the, uh, the deformed configuration uh, area vector. If we equate those two force uh, vectors we can then find an expression for p. Basically we're trying to find p that would ensure that these two force vectors are the same. We will first recall Nansen's formula that relates the area vectors in the reference and deformed configurations. We can use this formula to replace A and N in this formula for the uh, force vector. When we replace A N with the, this in the uh, expression for the force vector, we get uh, this expression as function of capital A and capital N. We also have the area, of, uh, the, the force vector function of capital 
a and n when we equate those two force vectors we get a relationship between p and uh, the Cauchy stress tensor sigma uh, they are equal and because the vector n is arbitrary it could be any area vector then the two matrices the two um, the, the linear transformation p and all the uh, the linear transformation uh, sigma transpose f negative transpose have to be equal and so the, the first periodic character of stress is equal to the determinant of f multiplied by the transpose of the Cauchy stress and multiplied by f power negative transpose The second pure like Kirchhoff stress tensor is the linear transformation that would give me a, a, a pullback force on the face, so this uh, force vector, if I use the undeformed area vector. It keeps the orientation of the force with respect to the material uh, orientation. On the right hand side, let's assume that in the deformed configuration, I have an area of magnitude A2 and direction N2. The force is equal to the stress tensor multiplied or applied to the area vector. On the left hand side, I have an area vector of magnitude A2 and direction capital N2. The force vector is equal to the second pure Kirchhoff stress applied to the uh, area vector. And what we uh, are assuming is that this force vector is equal to the pullback with F, the pullback of this uh, spatial force vector. So th this for force vector uh, that we obtain using the second pillar Kirchhoff stress tensor is equal to the inverse of the transformation uh, gradient uh, of the uh, uh, transformation gradient F multiplied by uh, the force vector in the def deformed configuration. Here are the expressions for a general uh, area vector a n and a general area vector in the deformed configuration small a small n. We're trying to find s such that this equation holds. We're going to use Nansen's formula again to replace small a and small n with this expression. Once we replace a and n with this expression, we can get uh, this equality that relates the second pure Kirchhoff stress tensor with the force vector in the deformed configuration. And the force vector in the deformed configuration has the Cauchy stress tensor. By noticing that n is an arbitrary vector, then we can find the direct relationship between the second pure Kirchhoff stress tensor and the Cauchy stress tensor. And here's the relationship. S is equal to the determinant of F multiplied by F negative one, sigma transpose F negative transpose, which is equal to F power negative one multiplied by the first pure Kirchhoff stress tensor. The online notes contain a numerical example and an inner and an, and an interactive example to illustrate the concepts described in this video.